Hey guys, Brick Queen here, and I'm very excited to finally be reviewing this set for you guys. This is one of the new Batman sets. It is set number 76012, and it's called Batman the Riddler Chase. It has 304 pieces, and it costs about $30, although if you go to Toys R Us, it's going to be about $40, because uh, most everything they do is overpriced. But that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and check out the minifigures. So these are the minifigures that you get in this set, and I'm going to save the newest and probably the best figure for last. So first, we're going to check out the Riddler. And this is a new outfit for Riddler. And I think it's kind of interesting. Um, I like the, the contrast of the dark green and the light green. Kind of, you know, makes it a little bit more interesting and all the question marks on him, of course. Um, he does have a gold crowbar, which... You know, maybe one day they'll actually make his cane. Um, when I saw that he was going to have a gold crowbar, I thought for sure they'd actually make it, but of course not. Um, they very seldom make what you want. But anyway, we did at least get a flash, and we'll check him out in just a minute. But I think this is kind of a, a neat-looking Riddler, at least. Um, I think this means I'm going to have to do an update to my Riddler minifigure comparison. And I know you guys have really been wanting me to do my uh, Scarecrow comparison. And I promise I haven't forgotten. I've just been extremely busy. But I am going to do that for you guys. So uh, just hold tight. I will get to it. And here's the Batman that you get. And I like his belt. I think it looks really cool. Um, looks good on this figure. And of course we'll... We'll take a look at the back and take his mask off there, his cowl. And there's the second face there. Kind of have to shade some of the light for you to see the face good. And then the back printing also is really nice. You can see how the belt continues around. And I know you guys all know what show this is based off of. Um, now, it doesn't say on the box that it's based off of the show, but you guys all know what show this is based off of. So, feel free to comment and tell everyone, because I'm not going to say since it's not on the box, but... Anyway, here is the figure that everyone, I think, has been most excited about, and that is the Flash. Now, I, I know a lot of people have said that, you know, there's customs that are better, and uh, that may or may not be true, but... I'm glad that Lego finally made an official one, a real one. I do think it looks pretty cool. And one thing, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with the helmet. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better. And I will take this off so you can see the helmet by itself. So this is the helmet. And I know a lot of people have been asking or wondering um, if it's plastic or rubber. Well, let me answer your question. It is definitely not your typical hard plastic that you get. Um, this is a rubber uh, helmet mask thing here. Um, and I'm not crazy about it being uh, the rubber part. Uh, I just think they could have done a little bit better job on this. Um, but nonetheless, I am happy to have a flash. Um, so I'm not going to complain too much because I'm just happy we finally got one. We've been needing them to make a flash for a while, and I can promise you, you're going to see this figure show up in some stop motions on my animation channel. So be sure to subscribe to Brick Queen Animations if you want to see, uh, some flash animations. Um, who knows, maybe he'll even make an appearance in my Christmas special coming up. Um, we'll just have to see what he's up to then, huh? But anyway, those are all of your figures. So this is your set. You've got the two vehicles and three figures. And I just kind of set Flash in the middle there. Um, I'm really glad Lego didn't decide to give him a vehicle. Um, it would really make no sense for him to have one. So uh, kudos for Lego to for not making that. Um, congratulations. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... These are the two vehicles. You've got the Batmobile, and then you've got a kind of a dragster that Riddler is uh, riding or driving or whatever you want to say. Uh, but anyway, um, 
I'm going to actually set flash back here for a moment. So first we'll take a look at the Riddler's vehicle right here. And there's not much to the, the front part of it. Um, I do like this sticker. This set only has three stickers. Um, so that is wonderful. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of stickers and I, I don't mind it at all when there's just, you know, just a few like that. So that's the first sticker and I actually like it. I like the, the flaming question mark. It's pretty cool. And the second sticker is also on this one. It's right back here, this back piece, which you can take off pretty easily. There's the second sticker there. And the third one's on the Batmobile, and we'll get to that in a moment. So here's the, the front part, or not the front part, the back part of this. You've got all the engine and everything, and that's where Riddler rides at. And here's the back. You've got two bags of money that you can take off. You can see how easily they're attached right there. Um, and each bag has two of the $100 bills in it, so it's pretty cool. And this back here is actually supposed to be like a bomb. And uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's kind of a unique feature. Um, they don't do features like this very often. But actually what you do, there's, there's no button, there's no switch, no nothing like that. Um, actually what you do is you actually just push down on the back and pull up on the front and it makes it just pop off like that which now it's fallen in the floor and I don't know where it's at but um, it just pops right off of there um, you can see where it was right there it's really easy um, and it's pretty cool like I said all you do is just uh, push down on the back and pull up the front and it just pops off you know as if uh, say Batman's chasing him, he can drop a bomb right there uh, just by, you know, popping a wheelie. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people are disappointed with this vehicle, um, but I actually like it better uh, now that I have it. When I was first looking at it, um, like pictures of it and things, I wasn't happy with it. I thought it was very simplistic and just not very, not very creative. That's the bottom of it, by the way. Um, but I like it more now that I actually have it here and I can physically touch it. And I think that might be the case with some of you guys also. You might like it better once you actually get it. Because I know you're probably going to buy the set for Flash. So you might as well um, at least check out the vehicles that you get in the set. Uh, but anyway, so this is the Batmobile. And I'm going to kind of turn this so there towards the back. But anyway, this is the Batmobile. And... Um, I've also already been hearing complaints about the Batmobile, um, in that some people are tired of getting so many Batman vehicles. And while I understand that complaint, this one's pretty cool. I, I have to admit, I have a lot of Batman vehicles, but this one is pretty cool. I, I like the gold tires, which is kind of, a, uh, you know, that's nothing new. Um, the front is designed really, really interesting, I think. Um, it's kind of different than the, the usual Batman vehicles that we get from Lego um, in that we don't have like the typical like bat fin off the back. Instead, we have these fins just kind of folded up. And that kind of makes it a little bit simpler and more like a normal type of vehicle, just like with the uh, Batman accents almost. And I like that. I like that it's just not, you know, just... I mean, you could use this vehicle for something else if you, you know, didn't have that sticker right there. It wouldn't have to be a Batman vehicle, and I like that. I like that you could use this for other things. <laughs> um, by the way, that's the third sticker, just that Batman symbol right there. And while I'm at it, there's no hinge piece for this. Uh, you just attach it down here in the front, actually, on that black piece right there. And while I have this open, I'll show you how Batman sits in there. You can see how his cape is kind of bunched up and I don't really like that. Never been a fan of uh, of having the cape kind of messed up because if you leave your figure in there for a long time like that um, it's gonna mess your cape up. However you can iron the capes and that won't that will not hurt your cape. I've had to iron my old capes so uh, just know that if you ever have a, a wrinkled cape you can fix it with an iron. Um, but anyway the steering wheel folds down in front of him like this I think that's really a unique idea. Um, I think that's really cool. 
Uh, I, I like it personally. And like I said, this just attaches right there. And, and I, I like the orange too, it looks cool. And, of course, I mean, we have to have flick fire, right? I like that the flick fire is a little bit hidden. You fold this up, and before I shoot it, I'll show you what it looks like when you fold it up, because I often lose my flick fire and different things when I shoot them, just like the bomb on the back of the Riddler vehicle. I'm sure it's in the floor at my feet right now, and I'll find it as soon as the camera goes off, but I don't want to waste your time uh, by doing it right now. But anyway, that's uh, that part folded up. Like that. And so you just fold this up, and then you push this piece right here. You can see the tan poles back there. So the easiest way to do this, or to show you at least, you push that, and you have two of these that fly out. One of them is uh, somewhere back there at least, um, but this is the second one at least. I have one, um, and they just load right back in there like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I It's only a $30 set, so it's really not bad, especially for the figures that you get. So all in all, I would highly recommend this set. Uh, you get great figures and pretty decent vehicles too. I, I don't have any complaints about this set really. Uh, it's, it's really cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to favorite, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.